What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie290 today coming at you live again through the power of the internet. And you'll notice there's something new, well, new to me, in my driveway. And if you read the title of this video and seen the thumbnail, then you know I finally decided to pick up a newer car. Um, got a big, a lot of big plans with this. As you probably know, we've talked about these plans before, pre-panorama, now that we're post-panorama, I'm finally making good on those plans. So let me show you what I bought. So here she is. It is a Toyota Corolla Hybrid. And it is not brand new, but it is new to me with only 12,000 miles on it, one previous owner. And it's the nicest looking car I have ever owned. Probably the nicest car I will ever own. I mean, it's not a Tesla, <laughs> obviously. And uh, we've talked about that as to why I didn't actually end up purchasing that car. But I still wanted something that was very fuel efficient. I wanted something with all the technology. And this car does exactly that. Opening up the door, I wanna show you, it's surprisingly roomier than I thought it was going to be. I know this probably looks like a tight fit on camera, but at my current size, about 360 pounds at about a little over five foot, 10 and a half. I fit in here pretty well. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Anything with one of those dividers in the middle is going to be a little uncomfortable for me. A little bit over here on the side with that um, the door handle, a little bit uncomfortable, but for the most part, it's a very comfortable ride. And I mean, it's got all the features in a modern car that you can want, including safety features uh, like auto braking and, and things along that line. So yeah, as we explore today, I want to show you what all this car can do, but also I want to take you on an adventure in it. My first adventure in this car with me, you, and Sammy. So let's go have some fun. Here's Lake Weddington in all its glory, and yes, plenty of fishing spots. I'm pretty certain you're allowed to boat on it. I am pretty certain you're allowed to swim in parts of it, but I don't see much for boats today. At least there's some fishers out. I mean, it's 77 degrees out. It's not going to get much better than this. Now's the time to be out here. Again, for those of you who are watching this, I know people get worried about Sammy not being on a leash, but look at this area. There's nobody here. I pick him up. I carry him to the safest area where there's no cars and there's no people and there's no other dogs. And when we see other people, most of the time I pick him up. So he's pretty well behaved. He's pretty well safe. Doesn't like to get very far from me. I know it's a disaster waiting to happen, but he's 11 years old at this point and nothing bad has happened yet. So yay, good boy. So a bunch of stories I wanna tell you guys today. And I think this is a beautiful backdrop for it. Though I apologize for the wind because my phone is not, I haven't figured out how to block the wind sounds on this iPhone just yet. But first story I wanna tell you is about my mom. Uh, my mom drove just the most miserable used cars the majority of her life. And that's the only thing she could afford because she was really bad with money. But once she retired and once she got access to her retirement money, her settlement money, her disability money, she decided to buy one brand new car. She said she wanted to own a brand new car that she drove off the lot one time in her life. So she ended up buying a Honda Civic. Drove it off a lot and drove it until she passed back in 2009. And that always set a precedent for me. If I ever buy a brand new car, I'm going to buy something that will last me, hopefully, the rest of my life. Now, we know that this new car for me is new for me, but it's not entirely new. It is used, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I got to say, I think it has a really long chance, a good chance of being the car that lasts me for the rest of my life because it's a hybrid, so it's somewhat future-proof. It's a Toyota Corolla. Those are just made really, really well. Scotty Kilmer and all these other YouTube car guys told me that this is one of the safest cars I could possibly choose to purchase. So this is the one I decided to get for that purpose. I mean, it's not a Tesla. It's not an electric car, but it's a hybrid and I'm happy with it. Uh, it drives really nice. It's got all the tech I wanted in it. It's, more importantly, it's got all the safety features I wanted in it. It's a hell of a car. Nature really is beautiful, man, and it really does make you feel better. I mean, I don't like the sun even ground I'm walking on, but it is just nice to be out here. I feel like I really denied myself a lot of beauty in this world by choosing to be as big as I was, to stay inside as long as I was, I really hope that for the rest of my life, I'm making the decision to take advantage 
of something like this, especially when it's just 10 miles away from my house. This is just 10 miles up the road. And Lord knows Sammy deserves it. Even though those cars are ruining this take, I'll probably leave it in just to show you how loud that guy's car is. Oh, it's a motorbike. It's a motorbike. Of course it is. Now, two stories about myself and they're both dreams. We all remember back when I was gonna purchase that Tesla, I said that one of the reasons I wanted to do it is because I wanted to get out into the world. I wanted to travel and see things. I wanted to take my dog to cool places. I wanted to use it as an excuse to exercise and eat better and live my life. And I ended up not buying that car. And soon after, I had absolutely no need for a car because with somebody, as somebody with a bunch of pre-existing conditions, the world was no longer fit for me in a panorama. So I made the decision to do almost nothing in 2020. I mean, I traveled a tiny, tiny little bit, but 98% of the time I was in my house uh, playing video games, sitting on my ass and doing absolutely nothing. Which, if I'm being honest with you, was always one of my dreams. One of my dreams was to do nothing. Uh, just sit around and play video games and have the bills paid and eat food and never leave the house and not have to deal with social anxiety, not have to deal with other people, not have to deal with anything. And I got to live that dream in 2020. I had enough money to pay all of the bills. I still had an income. I did minimal work when it came to live streaming and making YouTube videos. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't hang out with my friends. I, I would occasionally go out on, to dinner with a girl, but that'd be about it. Certainly didn't live the life that I'm hoping to live in a post panoramic world. So I feel like last year was not just good for my mental health, not just good for putting me on a path to where I would be experiencing better physical health, but gave me that 24 hours no frills, retirement. I don't know what you really want to call it. It gave me that opportunity to do nothing and to live that dream of relaxing and not having to deal with anything and having my bills paid. It allowed me to just kind of prepare to want to do something that that's not that. I've got that out of my system now. I mean, I guess everybody does that when they're 60 or 70 years old, but hey, I'm morbidly obese. I've, I've had a rough health history. I'm probably not gonna be 70. So I'm glad I got it out of my way during a panorama uh, while I was 46 years old. Now I can continue to do hopefully cool stuff. And if I can continue to train Sammy, hopefully he can go with me on a lot of it. That really is a motivating factor for me though. I feel like Sammy deserves the best life he can have and he loves walking through the neighborhood and he loves sleeping on his daddy's legs and lap, but he sure does seem to love this. He's still freaked out by car rides and I would love to film that for you someday, but obviously, I try not to film when I drive. I'm not saying I won't, but I try not to, but especially if I'm trying to wrangle the dog. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. I will never understand that behavior. I guess he's trying to mask his scent or maybe put his scent on something or maybe found something sneaky and he wants to smell like it. I don't. Dogs are dumb, man. I love them, but they are dumb. Dumb as rocks. It's a dead armadillo. Oh my God, he was, <laughs> he was rubbing himself in dead armadillo. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> so on the day that I'm going to upload this, I will be getting my vaccine. And that means I'm gonna feel a lot safer about going out into the world without the risk of getting sick. And then on top of that, I will feel a lot better about not getting other people sick as well. And there's a question I've asked myself. I've definitely advocated for wearing your mask whenever you're around other people. I've definitely advocated for social distancing, but I know a lot of the places that I wanna go, like Branson, or even places like my hometown, no longer require a mask. And I feel like I will always have a mask with me. I will always consider wearing it, but I'm not certain that I'm going to wear it at all times once I'm vaccinated, because the data is showing it might be possible that I can't even spread it anyways. If a place requires it, obviously I'm gonna wear it. I'm not gonna argue with that or I'll choose to go to another place. But if I go to a place and they don't require it and nobody else is wearing theirs and I can reasonably social distance or if I'm just hanging out with my friends, I think I'm just gonna do what's most comfortable. Feel free to let me know what you think about that in the comments section below. I haven't fully made up my mind on that. I'm curious as to what you think. 
help me make that decision because these videos are going to have me wearing the mask or not wearing the mask and I don't ever want to feel the need to lie to you or pretend I'm wearing it when I'm not. I want you guys to know the truth. So tell me what you think I should do. It's interesting to me how much of my life I've spent both indoors glued to the internet but also angry and sad. And I feel a lot less of that the more I'm walking, the more I get out into the world, the more I explore, the more grass I touch, the more nature I see. Really, really does help. So if you've never listened to a single piece of advice I've ever given you, maybe consider this one. Get some exercise, do it in nature. I think you'd be surprised, especially if you unplug for a little while. It makes me feel a hell of a lot better, but that's just me, who knows. I hope it works for you if you try it. I'm still so fat that wooden bridges make me nervous. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, I'm filming just in case it breaks. Just in case it breaks. <laughs> there we go, there's some boats. Kayaks, I think. Not that I ever fit in one, but boy, it does look fun. So while we're still at the park, here's a bit of a tour of the car. It does have that keyless start. So you can just push a button. It's got the navigation with the Apple Play and the Android Play and Alexa and all that crazy stuff built right in, plus a bunch of apps I had to download. And then basically most of the same features you get from a Tesla when it comes to the technology, including a lot of the safety features, which I was very interested in. I mean, after that wreck back in 2019, you know that automatic braking and uh, cameras and everything else that this technology can have is, is pretty important to me. The mileage is pretty good too. Now this is just, I've barely driven this car and 41 miles per gallon. I've been told in city driving, I should get closer to 50, but this is, you know, the dealership's miles that were put on it. I could probably reset it. I've been told 50 miles in the city, like 55 when it comes to uh, roads. And Sammy is very excited to be in this car. He likes the car quite a bit too. Don't you, baby? Now, you saw me start the car, and you're probably not hearing the motor. And that's because it's currently on battery power. See? So I'm about to shift it into reverse. Still on battery power. And it will stay on battery power until I get up to about 15 miles an hour. And this thing actually has a little setting here if I want to put it into battery power but i mean you're not going to get very far and go very long that way but it is an option i mean it's definitely no tesla but it is a hybrid and it definitely has some perks but let me set it on the camera so i can get the heck out of here and that's pretty much it um this is the kind of thing i want to do more often with you guys i want to go out into the world i want to explore i want to show you the world i live in i want to show you my adventures with sammy and hopefully in those adventures, I'll continue to lose weight. I'll continue to be more fit. I'll continue to inspire you to do better than I have. But that's going to do it for today's adventure. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon.